sneaky news about tonight. Tonight we're back with Netrunner 3. Yes, Netrunner 3. Based on the Kubuntu, with KDE, of course. And we're going to have a quick look round and show you what it's got, which is quite a lot. And that's a rather large download, and I was expecting a bit more to come with it. But hey, can't always have what you want, can you? But so yeah, let's give it a start anyway. Of course, it's all KDE here, so we've got our desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, public templates and videos. Get with it there if you really want to. Up in the, in the corner, you can add your widgets and panels and your activities and your shortcut settings, etc, etc, etc. Down the bottom corner again, your widgety bit of stuff again, you, know, you can do that down there. Your wastebasket, your time and date, system monitor, ethnic connection, volume, clippy boards, what in the box by the way. And also, there's loads of updates for me to do. Bummer. Okay, go to the menu. As you can see, he's using Dolphin. Yes, Dolphin for your file manager. Software. Now, under software, we've got Office, which is Open Office here. Under Internet, we've got Blue Devil, Reconk. Do you know what Reconk is? Yes, it's a web browser. Should we open it? Yeah, go on. Let's give it a quick look. Oh, dear. Yes, it leaves more packages. Yeah, I know that. Now, Reconk, as far as I remember, is based on WebKit. Yes, WebKit. Works rather nice, actually. I don't mind using it when I'm using the KDE distro. Not my browser of choice, but it's here. Okay. Back down to the menu again. We're back to software. And the internet again. Java's fully installed. There's lots of extra codecs also installed here, so it's run MP3s and DVDs out of the box, in theory. Not tried it yet myself, but I will do a bit later. Firefox 4 has been updated from 3.5, I think it was before. You had Thunderbird for your mail, Pigeon, Quasal, for IRC, and Vuzi. Vuzi. Oh yeah, Vuzi. And the multimedia. Now, this is why I was a bit, you know, disappointed. I was expecting more here, but it weren't to be, was it? Audacious and Amrock, Acetone ISO, K3B, probably the best burning program around. Got a sound recorder and VLC media player. That's it. Right, this is why I'm a little bit disappointed, but hey, they're giving it a go. It's KDE and it works rather smoothly, I must say. Right, under graphics, open office drawing. GIMP is installed as standard now. I don't know what version it is, so we'll have a quick look, okay? 2.6. Now, I don't know if it's got all the add ons or not, because if I'm using GIMP, I like to have all the add, -in, add ons from Synaptic, which there are quite a lot. Especially using raw data from your digital camera, which you should be using if you like your pictures. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, you should do. Now, also, it's supposed to seamlessly integrate GTK apps into KDE. And on the whole of it, it does rather well. And Gimpy comes up rather nice on the screen. Nice. Like it. Back down to menu again. Mm -hmm. we go? We've done graphics, didn't we? So apart from that, you've got a GUN view and Digicam for viewing your pictures off your camera. Yes, that's all right. But that's all. Okay. A little extra here. A bit like Peppermint. You've got your Facebook app, your Google Mail app, Google Docs app. It's just, just shortcuts, really, not apps, are they? Why do they say that? Apps? They shouldn't really say it, should they? You've got Google Maps, Google Calendar, you've got a Twitter client, and straight to YouTube, or oh, yeah, to the tube. Wine is installed and pre configured for you, and Wine Tricks is in there for you as well. Oh, it's indeed. Under games, you just get the basics. Yeah, just the basics. Now, bearing in mind this is over a gig download, I think about 1200 download. I was expecting quite a lot more, and I ain't going to get it, am I? No, you ain't, no, you're not going to get it. Utilities, you get quite a lot in tools, as you would do, because it's KDE, all the usual, I'm not going to go through them too much, this is a short little look at Netrunner, because I don't see many people have done it, really. Yeah. Anyway, you've got the Terminator, the VirtualBox OSE as standard, so that's a nice little addition now, and your K address book, contact, co-organiser, leaf pad, etc, etc, won't go too much into that either. Under system, you get your info centre, your package kit, the usual stuff that you would normally find. But I suppose what has bulked it all out is they have added quite a lot of drivers and codec support. All right, so uh, half a dozen of one, six of the other, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Right, system settings. You get this is nice because you can see they've done KDE to their own customised appearance. Now a lot of people who like the old style KDE will like this because it's more based. Well, it's not based on it, but it looks more like it, and so people might like to use it a bit more. It's not all widgety fired, you know what I mean? So all the usual, stu usual stuff is here, very nice too, nicely laid out, nice and clear, which I really like, the nice clear font they're using as well. But you run command and your leave do leaving stuff. But also down the bar here we have, oh, I didn't even think I bloody clicked there, see that? That's weird man. You have Synaptic Package Manager down the bottom there, your terminal, your Dolphin File Manager, 
Firefox 4 web browser. As I said before, it's been updated to version 4, so I'll open the Fox up and see what we get. But go straight to the Netrunner page because I've actually put it down as their page. All right? Yes, their page. As you can see, I'll just go through the little bits they've said. I've got KDE from 4.6 to 4.6.1. That's okay. Firefox to version 4, already told you that. Replace the default KDM with a cost costumed one. Customize, that's supposed to be, guys. Customize. I've got a bit of a U in there. I need somebody to do your stuff, don't you? Fix the broken plasma network mode to default plasma and change the dark desktop theme. That's it, baby. That's all you get. And as you can see, though, it's 1.3 gig. That's a lot, baby. Isn't it? So it is a lot, don't you think? Or is it? Let me know and tell me what you think. I'm not going to go to the BBC or anything like that because I always do that. And this is only a quick look at it because it's, I've not really done it before, actually. VLC down there, shortcut. Audacia shortcut. YouTube shortcut. And a Facebook shortcut. Right. On the whole, I've been using it for a couple of hours, so it's not really long enough to use a distro. But the main reason I've done this one is because I've not seen any real videos on it before, so I thought I'd do one, you know, just to show you what it's like. And yeah, on the whole, while I've been using it, it's been alright, but the niggly thing with me is the large download for it. Apart from that, it's not crashed or anything. So would I recommend it if you like KDE? Yes, I would actually, especially if you like the old KDE 3 series, because it looks like that. So I'll do it again now. See what I mean? Nice, yes, it's how it should have been, you know, it's nice. You know where things are. Lovely. That's enough for me. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.